Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm doing something a little different um, this week. So as you guys know, with my Sims 4 Decades Challenge, we are now in the 1910s and we have someone who is off on her own now. So I thought, um, why not make, you know, their own house? So that's what we're going to do this week. So you're going to, I guess, basically watch me build uh, their house. So it'll be a 1910s house um, for my Decades Challenge, which uh, maybe I'll put like a hashtag with it so that people can find them. Um, I have done a 1920s house um, because I've done a bit of the Decades Challenge on my own, like outside of the, uh, the YouTube series. So um, you can find that by looking up my username, Henley Oak. And I guess we're just gonna get right into it. So the way I do my builds um, for, for this series, I am actually looking up um, historical floor plans. So, um, so that's what I did for the 1890s. So I found a floor plan and I built a house based on that. Did that for the 1920s for my separate um, game just for, for fun. Um, so now for this 1910s, I wanted something just brand new. Um, so um, I'll have a picture up, I don't know <laughs> where I'm gonna put the picture, um, but that's basically the floor plan that I'm going to try to follow as much as possible. Usually I like to start with a blank slate, but I figured why not start with a house that's here, um, like on one of the lots and just kind of make it as close as possible. Um, we'll see how that goes. I chose Randall Rose and I think I'm still in, I'm still in Willow Creek. I'm still in the same um, community. So at least like they'll see each other all the time. So, okay, so I need to like use this as a reference. Okay, so the porch is supposed to be on the other side and I actually do have like the size. So the porch is supposed to be 20, 20 by 10. So the way I like to do it is like, I'll actually use these, uh, use the squares, but I don't know if I chose a big enough lot to be honest. Okay, so that's 10. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe do I need to change? Oh, it's 20 by 15. That's not gonna be enough guys. So I think I need 30, 30 by um, 10. This is a big house. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we are going to, uh, we're gonna extend this. So this is where we, uh, I guess that's where we wanted to start. But we're gonna move those things. So I'm just basically working from the front back and I guess that's how that's just gonna happen. That's a cute, cute little table there. We're gonna have to like sell some of these things. So, all right, so. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, okay, so grab that wall. We're going up. Okay, bye. Guess that's it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Six, eight, ten. Okay, perfect. So that's the porch. Seems like a really big porch to me, but we'll put something cute on there, I guess. Guess the picture makes it look like it's big too. Anyway, so then there's a little nook, but I think that's gonna be inside and that's 12 feet. So two, four, six. Oh, it's gonna be half the size. Uh, maybe we'll just like make everything just about two feet smaller. Okay, that seems okay. So bring that out to here. Okay, so there we have the porch and that little like nook area. But is this gonna be the right way? Two, four, six, eight, ten. But we'll probably, can we just sell that? Yeah, we're gonna sell these, that table and the little thing there. Cause I wanna bring this forward a bit too. Um, okay, so we need it. Seems like a really wide. So I think, yeah, we're gonna have things like down by two feet, I think. Seems like there's no room for, how are we gonna do for stairs though? Let's just see how stairs are gonna work. Can we get cute little stairs? We want like wooden, I, not wooden, I think we want stony steps. I don't think there's enough room. 
Okay, well, we are gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this as close as possible. Okay, so that fits. So that'll go back a bit there. Okay, okay, so where is that door? So we are going to get rid of this, move this over here, I guess, for now. And I'm just gonna make this like a similar shape. So now we are going, Get rid of some. Put that outside. We don't. <laughs> we don't need it outside. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna work on that little. It says bedroom or den. So that's twelve by eleven. So we're gonna build a wall. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, I'd rather have. You know what? I'd rather have a bigger. Um, living room. So then it's by 11. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I guess this is going to be that. All right, there we go. So that is the bedroom right there. And living room, we're going to keep open, except there's a little nook. All right, so there's that. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4. So that's only 16, it's supposed to be 21, but oh well. Uh, okay, so now this kind of area here, it looks like that's about where like that main, that front door is. So that works. All right, so now we have this living room and that kind of door is about the same. So we're gonna have to move that kitchen. So that kitchen is going on the other side over here. So this wall, so this is the dining room. So looking at 12. Are we gonna have space here, guys? I don't think we will. We might just have to get rid of that like porch. So they're not gonna have any type of um, like outdoor space at all. Well, it's a bungalow for a reason, I guess. So, well, this is gonna be a bedroom. So let's just move bedroom stuff over here for now. Cool. All of the things. Ooh, why is there a chair? Who wants a chair? It's a pretty chair though. Okay, so, so we have the bedroom. So this is gonna be moving over. So I guess that's the dining room, then that'll be the kitchen. But I think I might just put it in half like that. Yeah, so two, four, six. So then if we move, where's Oh, they didn't have a dining room, they just had kitchen. So kitchen is back here. You know, that's a really big kitchen. Okay, I am I am less unhappy now. We're just moving that, and we're gonna get rid of these counters and the bar stools, because we actually don't need those. But living room stuff is right there, so we'll keep that kind of stuff. There, get rid of the counters. We'll bring this over here. Ah, thank you. So we're not gonna need a wall all the way across, but I like to do a wall um, just so that I have an idea of how much space I kind of have. Okay, so there's that, and then there is a bedroom, and it's 12 by 12. So we're good, two, four, six, eight, 12. Ugh. We can have like a tiny, a little tiny bedroom. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I'm gonna move that. That's gonna bother me. We'll move that out at least to there. Um, because then there's another, there is that bedroom still here. Okay, so that's a bedroom, that's a bedroom. That's enough space, that's all they really need. So bedroom, bedroom, and then bedroom slash den. That's, oh then, yeah, and then there's actually a bathroom right there. 
So that's actually the perfect, I mean, it's supposed to be a little bit smaller, but we'll, I think that's a good size. That's essentially it, guys. That's kind of it. I just, I had to take out the screen porch at the back. Um, there's a bathroom, there's a bedroom. Back bedroom here, dining room. That seems like a big dining room. Do you know what, like I can bring this, oh, I can't bring that out. Cause there's supposed to be like a little hallway, which I guess is this. So that'll be the door. And then this will be kind of open. So yeah, so bedroom, 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 dining room area, kind of in the center here and living room and then like little nook. So like we'll probably have that as the, uh, as like a little reading area um, or like study. Okay, so basically the floor plan is done. It's just a bungalow, so it's just a one level. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and just kind of um, decorate it a little bit, put like the window furnishings, and I don't even know what the outside looks like to be completely honest. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's pink. Oh, I need to fix the, fix this, Nicole, just a little bit. And that's, bring you down a bit. Okay, so I mean, it's kind of cute and it doesn't quite look, well, I mean, that overhang is supposed to be um, slightly different. Is that it? Oh, it looks like there's a chimney at the front. So there might be a fireplace in this nook. So <laughs> like, there's just a, a window at the front there instead of a, you know, a door. Um, but it looks like there is a window like right here. So we'll do that. But I think that's a bedroom. I don't know. Is that weird? That is like right there. I don't know. I need to change that color though. Okay, so I mean, I guess come back in a few minutes and I'll have this um, done, I guess, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be pink anymore. I'll try to figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna do like magic editing and then you'll hopefully see this all done. Okay, so uh, I finished the house and I think it looks pretty good. So uh, we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough. So here's the outside. So I did find a stone exterior um, and I did put like a little bench there. I didn't really do much um, in terms of landscaping, but that's okay. They can do whatever they want when they move in. So, um, here is the outside, so I'll just kind of put the walls down a bit. And so I put in a little, they already had um, like the boots and the coat rack there by the front door, so I just left that as is. So then we go over here into like a little, whoa, into a little uh, reading area. I guess I could put like another, um, maybe a chair in there, which maybe I'll do. Um, so there's the, uh, the fireplace and the bookshelf. Nice little living room here uh, with the gramophone and it's still the 1910s, so uh, no TVs, no fun things to do, um, but lots of seating for everyone. Um, I left, oh, and then we go over here to, um, I'm just gonna call it the guest bedroom for now because um, they don't have kids yet. Um, so it's forever for anyone who wants to stay over and then they do have a desk in there as well too and then that can be for when um, children get older um, and then I left this bedroom empty because that's probably going to be a nursery I know it's a big nursery um, but we'll just leave it empty until we figure out babies um, and then we move over here into the dining room so um, I put lots of seating because you know they'll have maybe they'll have dinner parties um, and then I actually found this um, it's like a little like stand for the corner so that's I don't know I feel like that's something that Alice would have so we go over here into the kitchen and I found like a tea set and like oh wine bottles we'll just move that into the corner there because why not we're not prohibition yet are we and then we'll just keep that as is so I still try to keep it somewhat historical with like the fridge and the stove. And then we're gonna move over into here. Um, we're gonna leave the tiles. I think we're allowed to have tiles, but still a bathtub. And then, oh, I'll move that back over here. 
Um, and then we have the master bedroom, and I this is the only room I have carpet. We are allowed to have carpet now. I do have some rugs over here in the um, living room, but um, I wanted to have carpet in here because it's like the first thing that we're putting carpet in. So um, with our brand new house, their brand new bedroom. Um, so they have a nice big uh, bed. And I think, I think it looks nice. It's a little bit dark, but that's okay. So we do have a lot of lamps. We are allowed lamps. Um, but I do have the chandeliers kind of everywhere. I guess we could take some out, but I like, I like a lot of lighting in my house. So, so uh, we're gonna leave it. Uh, so that is it. I'm gonna rename this um, to 1920s house, lot name. And uh, there we go. I don't really have any traits for it. We can maybe, I don't, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm just gonna leave that. Um, so that's my build, very quick episode. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of kind of how I play around and try to keep it as historical as possible um, in The Sims without any custom content. So this is all with um, things. So the packs that I have, um, the uh, Get to Work, you know, uh, Discovery University, and the um, Jungle Adventure. So those are really the only um, things that I have. So it is pretty uh, user-friendly. A lot of people can do it. Um, and I think it's fairly cheap too. Okay, well, it's 40, it's 41 and a half a thousand simoleons. So hopefully that's okay for most people. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and uh, leave your bell notifications on so you know when the next episode is out. Um, okay, thanks everyone. And I'll see you next time.